What's up, Team 219? Hope you guys are well. I am assuming you're probably watching this video going, I've never seen this angle before. So, my producer, aka my wife, is at work right now. Because I do these videos on Sunday. And she, as you guys know, is a nurse. Shout out to all the healthcare workers. So I'm trying to do my best here with, uh, with, without having my producer. With that being said, we are ready to rock here with another great lesson, 11.4, found on page 445 for your math this week. We are gonna be continuing to talk about perimeter and area. We focused on perimeter first, so what do you think is next? If you're saying area, you are exactly, exactly right. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you guys here what I, created for you. So if you notice up top, I just put square unit. And then what I did is I put in different colors, perimeter and area. Perimeter, what I want you to focus on is you're measuring the outside of the object, okay? And then for area, you're gonna be measuring the inside of the object. And there's also going to be a different math function that we are gonna also talk about as we move throughout this video. Also, if you notice these like red dots down here, I don't actually have a geo board. I'm assuming that maybe some of you guys don't as well. So what I did was I created my own dots here. You're obviously gonna be able to have your own dots because you have your Go Math book. So with that being said, I wanted to just kind of show you guys this first. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to read over the unlock your problem and try the activity now together. All right, so if you are on page 445, oh, by the way, do you like the tie? I went with a funky tie today, I hope you guys like it. Um, if you're looking at page 445 um, of the top, the essential question is, our learning target today is that I can understand how area of a shape is different from the perimeter of a shape, because there is a difference. And I know that a lot of you guys are saying right now as you're watching this video, Mr. White, we know this, but that, that is the learning target for today. We need to be able to distinguish between perimeter and area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to un, uh, read the unlock your problem. Please read it with me. Connect. You learn that perimeter is the measure around a shape or outside. It is measured in linear units or units that are used to measure the distance between two points. Now, if you remember, let me bring your attention back here, when we do area, you're going to be measuring them in square units, square units. Area is the measure of the, the number of unit squares needed to cover a flat surface. A unit square is a square with a side length of one unit it has an area of one square unit. So that part, in my opinion, is kind of confusing for a third grader as you're reading it because it they're, they're throwing a lot of words at you. I'm going to show you right now a very efficient uh, and what I would consider because I know how, how you guys have become masters at your addition and multiplication, um, a, a much easier, I think, way of finding the area. We're going to get into that in a second. They show you um, two squares. One, they show you the perimeter, how if you go around the perimeter, uh, each one accounts for one unit. And then in the area, they show you just one square unit. But what I want you to focus on is at the bottom here, where it says activity and materials. It says, use your geo board. We don't have one. I showed you the red dots. To form a shape made from two unit squares. Record the shape on this dot paper. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my trusty blue marker here and we are gonna just take a quick look at my red dots. So what they want you to do is they want you to make a shape with how many? Two unit squares. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna connect the dots here with One square and two squares. So the area, area 
you have what? Two across the top and then just one square going down. Now you could easily just count the squares, right? One, two, the area being two square units. But what I'm gonna show you right now is, in my opinion, an efficient way to find an area of all types of different plane shapes, okay? What you can do is you can take the length, which is two, and you can multiply it by the width, so times the width. And then two times one is an easy multiplication fact, which is two, two square units, two here. Now, why is it different than perimeter? That's the question that, that really you should be asking yourself, because remember our learning target, can we distinguish between perimeter and area? If you remember, perimeter is around, so you add up all the sides. So I'm gonna actually do this with a different color marker so you guys can see the difference here. You get a, grab a green one. So to find the perimeter of this, guys, what you would do is you would have to add, right? So you would do two plus two plus one plus one. And what does that equal? All right, two and two is four. One and one is two. Four plus two is six. So the perimeter of this object is six. The area is two. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this down. We're going to read the next uh, what letter B for the activity, and we're going to do a very similar exercise than the, the compared to the one we just did. So it says change the rubber band again. We don't have a geo board, so we're just going to connect the dots so that the shape is made of three unit squares. Record the shape on this top paper. All right, so let's do this. Let me grab my blue marker here. We're just going to come down uh, here to like the bottom. So we come down here to the bottom. Now, instead of doing two unit squares, we're gonna do three. One. Two. Three. Now again, if you want, you're more than welcome to just count up the squares to find the area. You can literally do that. That's one strategy. Is there only one way to solve a math problem? We all know the answer to that question. So the area we already know is three, but let's take the strategy that I use with multiplication. So we have three going across the top, one coming down. So length times width. So that would be three multiplied by one and it gives us three. So again, you can count them to find the area or you can use your multiplication to find the area. But let's do, let's find, Let's find the perimeter again, just because I want you to be able to distinguish between perimeter and area. Let's take a look. So what would we need to do to find the perimeter here? Remember, addition, all right? So we take all the sides, three plus three plus one plus one. 3 and 3 is 6, 1 and 1 is 2, 6 and 2 is 8. So again, the perimeter and the area are very different from one another. Perimeter, you're using your addition skills. Not to say that you can't use, well, I know that some of you guys have, with your doubles facts, have used multiplication. And instead of doing 3 plus 3, you're doing 3 times 2. But there is a stark difference. What is it? Perimeter, outside. Area, Inside and where do you, what do you say about the area? You're using square units. Okay, so I hope this video helps you guys work your way through the unlock your problem. Remember, there's not just one way to solve a math problem. So I showed you a few strategies here today. What I want you to do is I want you to pick your favorite one and utilize it. The learning target for today is to be able to distinguish between perimeter and area. I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are healthy. I miss you guys a lot. See you on the next video.